Guess what time it is, guys. So you know spring's really here. Trillium time in the woods. Hey guys, Real 111T. Uh, just gonna do a video here, a video response to Mark, AKA Eat Carbs, okay? Um, he did a video or posted a video um, just not too long ago uh, about medical first aid items. So what I thought I would do is show you the stuff that I'm carrying on me on an everyday carry basis as well as um, this vehicle kit and a little bit of philosophy of use here. Um, so basically the philosophy is um, these are not boo-boo kits, these are uh, bleeding control kits. Okay, um, I've been uh, watching some videos online and I've basically been convinced that I need to be carrying something, you know, uh, in my everyday carry. It's good out here for the, uh, the bushcrafter type people because, um, you know, a lot of times we're out in the woods playing with sharp, pokey, stabby things and, uh, or saws. Um, things that could easily result in the sort of injury where you start bleeding a lot. So part of it really is being careful, but uh, barring that, you should have the means to deal with um, uh, bleeding, basically. Uh, also in your everyday life, you know, we're living in uncertain times where um, you might have a situation where there might be uh, some sort of mass casualty event. Um, auto accidents, you know, you might come upon an auto accident and someone's injured, you might be injured yourself in an auto accident. Um, having the right sort of gear around uh, is very important. And one of the points that Mark made uh, was training. So I don't want anyone to go into this thinking that I'm some big medical expert, okay? Um, but uh, as far as controlling bleeding, it's a fairly intuitive thing, you know? You, you, uh, you put your gauze uh, or your sponge on, on wherever is bleeding and you press hard. And if that doesn't work, you know, we've got a, uh, another option. But basically just those couple things is what these kits are designed to kind of deal with. And um, having it with you is really important. You know, they say the best tripod in the world if you're a photographer is the one you have with you. Well, you know, you can improvise, uh, you can improvise things a lot, um, but uh, if we have the opportunity to plan ahead um, some of these items I think we should uh, probably carry with us. So let me pause this and rearrange down to the the old treetop table here and we'll take a look. Okay so here we have the two items that I've been carrying. This is just one of those Husky uh, brand uh, utility pouches and this is actually a nine millimeter uh, magazine single magazine pouch that I found fits this one item very well and one of these goes in one cargo pocket one goes in the other and inside my cargo pocket on my pants I've got a d-ring I just clip this on there and it stays in there and it's been a pretty comfortable way to carry this item so with this item let's talk about this one first this is a rat's tourniquet okay for those situations where you might have to use a tourniquet you know you can improvise a tourniquet um, some might say that the rat's tourniquet is an improvised tourniquet, but um, that is important if you're having some kind of uh, heavy-duty arterial bleeding that will not be stopped with, uh, with pressure. Um, so let me uh, get this other stuff out. Hang on. Okay, so let's go through this stuff real quick. Over here on the end is a, just a real basic Mylar casualty blanket. Um, the next thing, there's some nitrile gloves. Okay couple different sizes of the uh, quick clot sponges some tape not the highest quality fabric tape um, probably should get some duct tape for that but it was uh, easy to stow in there and then uh, a couple of these uh, stretch rolled gauze for um, size of those three inches by 4.1 yards um, I, I had some bigger ones but I elected to get two smaller ones um, and then this is a uh, surplus i'm not exactly sure what 
country this is, but this is a uh, surplus, you can tell, 1964. <laughs> but I've opened these up and, um, I mean, they're sealed. Um, this is a, like a, a heavy duty sponge that you can tie on, it's basically combat dressing. Um, got a set of these um, Madison Supply shears. Okay, and uh, five or six of these four by four pads. So, I mean, that's definitely better than nothing in terms of stopping uh, bleeding. Um, uh, so that is what I carry basically on my person if I had to deal with a situation, um, if I came upon someone. Um, and the other thing is, guys, I, and by no means am I knocking training, but um, the other thing is that... You never know in some of these situations there might be someone there who um who is more of an expert than you <laughs> and it's just a matter of having the stuff i don't know how i really feel about that argument but um you know i i do have some basic first aid training that i got in in the scouts and and i i plan on taking some uh more advanced training um as far as this kind of stuff coming up so this is the Condor Tearaway uh, medical pouch. Um, and we can see most of the stuff in here. I'll just give you some descriptions. Um, basically in the back here, I've got some larger gauze pads and another one of those um, quick clots, some uh, tape. Um, I've also got that backed up here with duct tape. So we've got a few of these, four of these, more of these gauze rolls. Got an Israeli bandage here. This is a soft T tourniquet right here. Um, on the outside, oh, wrong side. On the outside, we've got another one of these rats. Um, the great thing about the rats over the soft T and the cat uh, is that it's cheaper, basically. So you can have a lot more of them all over the place. But this is a, an actual soft T. Um, the other great thing about the rats over something like this is, is it's, it works. Um, the way it works, it works better on kids and animals, okay? So if your dog got injured or if a small child got injured, which matters to me seeing that I have uh, small children. Um, in this pouch, I've got a couple more of those combat dressings. I've got some super glue, some safety pins. So this one has a little bit more like general purpose stuff. There's some band-aids in here, some Neosporin, which, you know, isn't really part of the mandate, but um, this kit was put together, you know, before that um, on the both the different styles of tourniquets there's a spot to write time so I've got a sharpie in here for that but this is basically it as you see this really isn't a boo-boo kit you know this is uh, not something that I'm going to run to if the kid scrapes their knee basically um, but I do have other kits and that's a good point let me see if I can get this to zip up I do have some other kits uh, in my car that basically have boo-boo stuff in them. You know, if you have kids, you understand that every little thing is going to require a Door of the Explorer band-aid. So, now the other great thing about this, here it is all sealed up, is it's got this tearaway panel, all right? So, uh, and what some people have pointed out, and I was actually already doing it myself, is you can take this this piece and wrap it around, say, your passenger side headrest. You can either have it on the back or the front, on the front if you don't have any passengers, on the back if you do. And then this pouch goes on there and it'll just Velcro in place, okay? And then if you need it, if you need to grab it and run, you just tear it off, basically. So that's kind of a cool feature of that. And I think this pouch is about $20 on Amazon. It also has Molly attachment. And then it's got this piece here that saves the zipper and this too, this will... This secures it so that it's not totally riding on the Velcro. Like this loop here is actually retaining it. So you'd have to pop this and then pull it off. And then this panel would stay behind. So yeah, I mean, this is just basically the stuff that I had to grab and go um, to show as my video response. Mark kind of tagged everyone who saw it uh, in his video response. So uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and tag anyone. If you wanna make a video um, and then just, uh, you know, post a link in my comments. I'll watch it. I'll promise you that. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later.